This is Eric Schnell, Associate Professor and Emerging Technology Specialist at the Health Sciences Library at The Ohio State University. This video, Bibliographic Management Software, A Decision-Making Recipe, is being made available through the Creative Commons Attribution, Non-Commercial, Sharealike License. One of the more time-consuming tasks for researchers is the collection and organization of citations and documents of sources of information. Many researchers first learn how to manage their citations by recording bibliographic information on index cards and storing documents in filing cabinets. While this method is adequate for simple projects, index cards and filing cabinets do present storage and retrieval problems. To become fully engaged in evidence-based practice requires that practitioners regularly access literature on pertinent research topics. The use of bibliographic management software can help practitioners by more quickly accessing information that meets their patient care needs. With so many different bibliographic management software packages available, how does one choose which one to use? To help in making this decision, I'd like to start by telling a story. Each year, we host a variety of family gatherings at our house. Like most families, when we get together, we tend to eat and eat and eat. I have suggested that we simply hire a food truck and park it in front of the house. As one can imagine, this suggestion did not go over well. So we do what most families do, pull out our favorite recipes and participate in the bonding activity of cooking together. However, each year we have a problem, finding the recipes. Many of our recipes are written on index cards and kept in boxes. Over time, they tend to get dog-eared and stained. Other recipes are in cookbooks, but remembering which book usually involves the use of post-its, which often fall off. Even more recipes are on printed emails or clip from magazines. So, our family needed some help. Taking an evidence-based practice approach, I broke our problem down using the PICO format. With the problem being our recipes, the intervention being our need to organize them, our outcome being ease of access, and our time factor being when needed, with our comparisons to be determined. I then constructed my question, which system for organizing recipes will make them easier to access when they are needed? I then created a list of features that I needed to compare when evaluating the solutions. Would the solution be paper versus electronic, locally installed versus web-based? Would it be operating system or device specific? Would it be licensed or free? Were there a need for import and export functions? Was there a need to collaborate on or share? Did it need to sync between computers or devices? What content did I need to manage? And did I need to generate hard copies? With all the different recipe management solutions available, I needed to assess my specific situation and needs. I determined that my solution required the following features. Electronic, preferably cloud-based, allows for sharing and collaboration, synced across devices and platforms, is searchable by ingredient or category, and had the ability to add images. It is important to remember that each situation is different. As a result, the features and the solution that I need may be very different than you. At this point in the video, you are probably wondering what managing recipes has to do with managing bibliographic citations and documents. In fact, they have many things in common. To help determine which bibliographic citation management software solution will work best, one could simply rework the PICO strategy to come up with a similar question related to bibliographic management solutions. One could then use the same comparison list to help determine the appropriate solution that fits your situation. There are also a variety of websites that provide detailed comparisons of the numerous solutions, including Wikipedia. One concise listing of the more popular solutions is available at go.osu.edu slash compare. There are many additional resources that can help in comparing features and functionality, including YouTube videos, presentation slides available on sharing sites such as SlideShare, and subject guides compiled by librarians that are organized by solution. This is Eric Schnell. Thank you for watching.